so, you know, Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you. A couple key things I want to say about the, wait, 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 let me, let me get, let me get right. couple things I'm going to discuss about what took place in the game. So, winning without a place kicker is just very hard to do in the uh, National Football League. So, when a team knows you don't have a place kicker and you still put up a, you know, go for two every conversion. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys are done, man. They're done. Des Bryant is done. Yeah. Des Bryant is done. You, he was targeted 14 times, and none of them meant anything. None of them meant anything. You know, uh, football teams have to start putting the best man on the field at some point. Like, what Buffalo is doing is horrendous. You bench Tyrod for a guy that threw five picks. Is this, like, favoritism or something like that? No. And I don't want the Eagles to fall victim to that. I think a Jai should get a little more carries. I'm not saying Blunt doesn't deserve carries, but Blunt is clearly the more explosive back. But, you know, maybe it's something we don't know. Maybe having those two juggernauts weigh the defense down even more. So I think it's a good strategy to run both of them. Keeps everybody fresh. And also, you can't, you can't say um, Clement doesn't deserve carries. That dude's finding the end zone. You know, it's just um, it's an unfortunate situation that's going on in Dallas. Dallas is Dallas is done. Uh, Dak Prescott is who I thought he was the whole time. I mean, and you could put anybody behind a stout offensive line and an all-pro running back, and you will get the results that Dak has been getting. But you take just one one guy from that offensive line and you switch out that running back and that can't get you more than nine points. You know what I mean? Put up seven against Atlanta. Nine against the Eagles who didn't have a place kicker. Which I just can't get over that, man. How we how we seem to overcome in games. You know what I mean? A lot of these teams lose people in practice. We lost Sproles in a game. We lost Peters in a game. We lost Hicks in a game. And we adapted, man. We were truly embodying the next man up mentality. And we're doing well, man. We're doing well. We're doing really good, man. People want to make excuses about uh, injury. That's not a valid excuse to me because we all have those. Um... Dak was picked off three times. I think Dak is trying to do too much. Dak is trying to show you that he can do it without Zeke. You know, they played a good first half. I think I also think Dallas has a, a tough time with adjusting. Like they don't know how to adjust at all. This will be the third game that Dallas has lost when they were up at the half. I mean, what does that tell you? They go in at the half. If you go in at the halftime up. You still need to be able to tell your team something that they can do better to remain up. Just because you're up at the half don't mean you should run the same plays and think you're going to get the same effort because the other team realized that you're up, so they're going to do something to get up. You know what I mean? They're going to switch up their game plan so you can't keep doing the same thing. It's chess, man. It's chess, man. You know? It's chess. And, I don't, and, and, and one more note. This is to, like, the Redskins fans who seem to feel like they won something <laughs> yesterday because <laughs> we beat the Cowboys. We didn't do that for you. We did that for us. You were supposed to beat the Saints for you, but you couldn't do. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have anything to say about the Cowboys. You didn't win. I don't understand that. This, this is, like, blasphemous, like... You didn't win, so what, man? Our victory is not the Redskins' victory. The Redskins were supposed to do us a favor by beating the Saints so we can keep some more distance in between the teams, but they couldn't even do that right. But we got a little diaper dandy coming next week. We got the, uh, we got the Chicago 
Bears. Um, I'm not going to sleep on the Bears. They've been playing good defense. And they're going to really want to get at it because we're the best team in football. So the, the target is on our back now. The target is on our back. Um, yeah, the target is on our back. We put up 88 points in the last two games. The target is on our back. Everybody's going to be try to put that bright spot in their season and say that they beat us. You know, we still got one game on the schedule that I'm kind of interested in seeing us against the Rams. Um, I don't really think the Rams are a threat. I don't think the Rams are a threat. I don't think the Vikings are a threat. And I don't think the Saints are a threat. I'll tell you why. The Saints almost lost to the Redskins. See, this is what I like about the Redskins. The Redskins are crash dummies. The Redskins play these teams. And the Redskins almost beat them or beat them. For instance, the Redskins walked into Seattle and walked right out. Seattle's not what they used to be. The Redskins almost beat the Saints, which they should have beat the Saints. If that was Carson Wentz playing, they would have beat the Saints. Um, the Saints had to do a dramatic comeback, blah, blah, blah. You know the rest. The Redskins only lost 30-38 to 38 to the Vikings. The Redskins were very much in that game, so I don't see dominating, dominant performances from them. Although the uh, Rams do have a dominant performance, they put up 50, I think, the same week we did. But thank you, Redskins, for being our crash dummies. We can watch the tape on what you did, and we should be able to duplicate that and try to uh, get a win if we run into these teams in the playoffs. So back to the Cowboys. Um, Des Bryant is done. I think Des Bryant is holding that offense back. I think Bryce Butler definitely deserves more snaps. Bryce Butler can create more separation. Uh, Ronald Darby just had his number, man. Ronald, Ronald Darby's looking like a monster, man. Ronald Darby, Jalen Mills. Don't we get Sidney Jones back? Playoff time, have a real stout rotation. Uh, P. Rod, Patrick Robinson. Pff, man, can we get that guy a comeback player of the year? Comeback player of the year for Patrick Robinson. Seriously, Malcolm Jenkins is always um, reliable. Um, yeah, man. Nine to one, baby.